this is a little bit, we are starting from a little bit bigger size as an example. Okay. So this is a swallowable capsule robot, uh, which has a camera on board, wireless communication, and it has- It has a camera, you say? Yes, there's a very tiny camera, the black part, so this, and you see LED where, lights. Where is the camera? It, it's at the end here. Okay. And then there are small magnets inside. As you mentioned, to manipulate anything, you need some physical force. In this case, this capsule has magnets inside, and another external magnet can exert force on this capsule, and inside your body, this can be navigated. So it can roll inside your stomach, it can be stopped, it can go backward and forward really? as a robot. Well, how would you put it in you? So you swallow it, so it's a, a pill you size. You swallow it? So yeah, this is completely wireless robot, as you see in the video, also it's made out of a soft material, so that it can deform, and it's very safe to use, as you mentioned. Safety is our first rule about the design, and by rolling inside your stomach's tissue surface, uh, the doctor can stop it, and then by controlling the external force, you can indeed eject a drug. Here you see this blue thing. Oh, is a wow, drug. it spilled, it made a little pee or something. <laughs> exactly, and it can do this many times, <laughs> and it can actively image your uh, body so that you can see where you want exactly. Do it again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> Let's see what's it again. But first of all, uh, who is running? It looks like it's, it's got a will. Like, is, it some, is it being driven by something? You see that there's an external magnet that the doctor has full control of. Ah. And, and indeed, it's moving outside. Like you, you use a magnet outside your body and it's moving the robot inside your body. Oh, so, so there's a doctor outside of you with a magnet and then there's this little thing wobbling in, and so the doctor is moving it. Exactly, that's why it's safe, so that you don't have any, you know, decision. Is the doctor that, squeezing out that blue juice? <laughs> yeah, so the doctor says that that area has a disease so that he or she decides to uh, in eject the drug at that point. And also the same robot can do biopsy, so it can cut some Whoa, pieces. wait a second. It, it's a three in one, it can take pictures, it can leak, or whatever that is, pour, <laughs> and it can cut? Yes. With what? What is it cutting with? Uh, so the, the biopsy is a common procedure in GI tract that you want a small piece of your tissue to decide if there's a disease or not. Because sometimes camera images are not sufficient or wouldn't tell you the, the level of the disease. So doctor needs to take a piece of your tissue and do analysis afterwards so that we need to pick up this capsule later and do some analysis, which is a little bit dirty. Well, wait a second, does it like have a knife in its pocket? Or like, where, where is the cutting thing? It's inside the middle, so it's very safely located, so it doesn't cause any damage. Uh -huh. But as, as in the drug releasing case, when a doctor controls the force and presses this thing on purpose, the knife comes out and gets a, gets a small It's piece. like a switchblade, sort of. Yes, exactly, yeah. Whoa. And so you then, take a little bit of something and then bring it to the doctor. Exactly. How do you, I'm assuming that you bring it to the doctor in the old fashioned way? <laughs> <laughs> in, in the biopsy case, yes, you need to pick it up, coming out of natural ways. But other, other cases, we don't pick That's it up. That's the intern does that, or who? who uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's the cost of high technology. <laughs> I see. <laughs>